Michael Lumberger was 74 years old when he passed away last June at the Hospice House here in Ottumwa. The famed photographer, artist, and historian spent a lifetime building the Lumberger Collection, a well-documented and archived stockpile of more than one and a half million images like the ones you see behind me here at the South Ottumwa Savings Bank. In this five-part series, we examine Michael's life, his collection, and his legacy. On April 24th, what's been described as the largest and best documented photo collection in the world will be donated to the University of Iowa. Today, we hear from Isaac Campbell, the man spearheading the donation to the University of Iowa and Northern Iowa, as well as Michael's widow, Leanne. The entire collection will be donated to the University of Iowa um, Special Collections Department in the, in the U of I libraries. And that includes all the images, um, prints, um, and support documentation of you know uh, things that that go along with it. And if you have you know an incident and a date, then you can go back into those scrapbooks and find the actual news article uh, that went with it and the cut lines, so that it it helps to to research. So often it isn't just the negative, but the obituary of the person is in there, or the news story about the fire. And, and those things uh, are something that the university was really intrigued by, that they often get collections of just the raw materials, but not the support stuff that goes with it. And he always said, too, about, about the negatives, he said often, you don't know when you take the picture what's really important about it. And you may be taking a picture of a car accident at a certain intersection, and, and that's what is important right then. But in future years, it may be the building that's in the background that is important. And that was one of the reasons that he was so disturbed by people who wanted to take the collection and curate it and keep 10,000 images and throw the rest away. Because he said, how do you know which 10,000 are important? Because some of those others have something in them that may not be important today, but it will be in future years. It will be a, an historic collaboration between the University of Iowa and the University of Northern Iowa. The collection will actually be housed at Iowa. They have a new facility as part of their library structure that has cold storage, it has reading rooms, it has all kinds of available use so that scholars can go right there, students can go right there and use the materials. But the first thing that they will start doing is creating a finding aid to go online so that somebody who researches on Google and looks for a specific subject will be told, yes, there's a photo of this in, in the University of Iowa collections. When that is done, then they will start going through and digitizing everything. Meanwhile, the University of Northern Iowa, through their Fortipon project, which is a digital archive of uh, free-to-use images, will be curating the collection and selecting Iowa images from the very earliest up until 2000, and they will make those available on their website. So it's an absolutely wonderful historic collaboration between the two, the two schools. And actually, Iowa is more interested in the, in the national historic importance things. UNI is more interested in the everyday Iowa things. And so together, everything will be used. I think what we want people to really understand is that we can't imagine a better scenario of Michael's legacy uh, th this is not going to be stuffed in a drawer. This is not going to be put away where people aren't going to find it and it's sort of, of going to fizzle off with time and, and uh, you know, this is something that's going to be alive and in classrooms. It's going to be in institutions. It's going to be a part of discussions as Iowa leads the way of, for the country in a new realm of uh, mixing digital studies uh, public history and education together, and I can't think of a better way to, to preserve that legacy. Uh, Monday, April 24th at Bridgeview Center, starting at 4 o'clock, we will be announcing the, the, the official donation of the collection to the University of, of Iowa and the University of Northern Iowa. And involved in that, in that presentation will be representatives from both universities. Uh, Congressman Lobsack will be there. Um, we have uh, people from the school districts, people from the city, and people just talking about the importance of this and how, how relevant it is uh, to, to the future of education. 
Leanne Lemberger and Isaac Campbell would like to invite the community out to the official donation ceremony to be held on April 24th from 4 until 6 in the afternoon at the Bridgeview Center in downtown Ottumwa. The event features more than 40 creative projects by Ottumwa and Cardinal students based off works from the Lemberger collection, as well as a sample of some of Michael's own pictures. Speakers include Congressman Dave Loebsack and representatives from the universities of Iowa and Northern Iowa. Come out on April 24th and learn more about Ottumwa's history and be part of ensuring that history is never forgotten. For Ottumwa Radio News, I'm Nick Davis.